All right, so now that we have gone ahead and built our robot, the next thing that we need to do is set up our phones to be able to control our robot. So what we'll need is a controller, two 90 degree micro USB cables, and a just a type A USB cable, and two phones as well. These are the most important things. This is what we're gonna be messing with in this video and of course you're going to need your robot because we're going to be setting up everything and connecting um, our phone one of our phones to the robot and one of our phones to our controller so the first thing that we need to do is just go ahead and decide which phone you're going to use so both phones are going to be used differently so one is going to be the controller and then the other is going to be for the driver station so the controller is going to be connected to the actual robot so I'm just going to use the left one as my controller and my driving station or my driver station that's going to be connected to the controller or, or like actual joystick so controller left one that's going to be connected to the robot driving station right one that's going to be connected to our actual joystick or actual controller all right so now that we've decided that, go ahead and go on your Android phone. And we want to do a couple things before we download the app. So on both phones, we are going to disable our location. So mine's already disabled on both phones. And then we're also going to disable Bluetooth. Just make sure those are disabled. On this phone, it's already been disabled. So just make sure those are disabled. The next thing we're going to do is turn on airplane mode. So we're going to turn it on on both phones and then we'll just give it a second and then we'll turn it off. And now we will go to settings on both phones. So now we want to connect to a Wi-Fi network. And again, this is on both phones. All right. So now they're both connected. And then the next thing we're going to do is download each of their respective apps so we're going to go to the Play Store on both phones and we need to download the FTC apps so the left one like we said is going to be our controller so just go to the App Store and we're just gonna type in um, our phone but we want to just type in All right, so if you just type in FTC controller or FTC robot controller, both apps will come up. So f remember for the left one, we're going to be using the FTC controller app. So this is gonna be a controller connected to our robot. And so I'll install that. For the right one, we are going to be using our driver station. So if I just do FTC driver, it should come up and we want to download FTC driver station. So we'll wait for those to install All right, so now that they've both installed, what we want to do is on the controller, and for me, it's the left phone, I'm going to go to settings. So in settings, I'm gonna scroll all the way down until I see about phone. And then I'll scroll down again, and then you're gonna see something said that says build number. You're just gonna click that a couple times until it says um, no need you already are, are a developer so 
you want to see that and this is just on the controller so don't do it on that phone you don't need to and so after we do that we're gonna go back to settings our main page and then we're going to go to developer options second to last setting and then we're gonna scroll down and then make sure you've enabled USB debugging so make sure that's enabled after you do that and this is gonna be for both phones we're gonna go back to settings and we'll start with the controller phone but you're going to go to Wi-Fi and then now we want to forget that network that we used so I'm just gonna forget it make sure it's not connected to any of your Wi-Fi's and then we're just gonna forget it alright so after we forget it and this is gonna also be on both phones you're going to click the three dots up here at the top and then you're going to click advanced and then after you click advanced we're going to go to Wi-Fi direct so we're gonna click Wi-Fi direct after you click Wi-Fi direct we're gonna click these top three dots and we're gonna configure it so now we need to name um, we're kind of naming this phone so when it appears in the other phone this is gonna be the name that shows up so I'm just gonna do one two three four and I think most people do their team number dash the name of the or the type of the phone so this is going to be a robot controller so I'm just going to do capital RC so I just did one two three four dash RC so we know RC is robot controller sorry this is supposed to be the driver station the robot controller is the left one so I'm going to do one two three four dash DS for driver station and then I'll save that we'll do the same thing on this phone since this is the controller this is going to be RC so we're going to go to advanced Wi-Fi direct and configure device we're going to name it 1234 again this time since it's the controller we're going to do dash R C and then we'll save it so now we need to connect the device so I'm just going to go back to my driver station phone and it'll uh, search for devices and you can click it up here but now you want to look for the name of the phone that you just set up so this is the driver station phone now we're looking for the um, robot controller phone right so once you see it you're going to click on it and then it's going to send an invite to the other phone and then when you pick up the other phone might automatically connects but when it sends an invite you should just be able to accept it on the other phone but this one is automatically connected already since this has been used before alright so now that we've done this we're gonna go ahead and open up both of our respective apps on the phones so we're going to go to on this one driver station on this one robot control and then just click allow on all of the stuff that pops up all of the permissions and if it kicks you out of the app just click so back now on you're it. going to open up both apps and so on the driver station phone you're going to click the three dots go to settings and we're going to click pair controller and we're going to click on our controller here and we're going to go back twice and it will send you an invite on this phone and once you give it a second it should load alright once it connects you'll know it's connected because your driver station phone will have the name of your um, robot controller as the network and it will also show you a ping value and it will also show you the percent on the phone which is uh, 64 as well surprisingly alright so now that both of these are connected the next thing that we need to do is we need to actually connect our controller to our robot so we'll bring our robot and now we're gonna go ahead and get our USB type A 
cable and our 90 degree micro USB cable put them together and you can also get a cable that just has both on both ends if you don't then you could just kind of at make these two into one and then we're going to connect our phone on the micro end and we're going to connect the other end to our expansion hub all right and make sure this is the controller it won't work if it's not uh, the controller the, the one that has the controller phone so once you connect it and make sure you flip the switch um, to turn on your bad uh, to turn on the the battery which powers the expansion hub so once that is on you're going to see a message on the phone that uh, asks you for permission and so you're just gonna click OK so once you've done that so now we're going to click the three dots up here and now we're gonna click uh, configure robot so now we're gonna set up the robot and so if you don't already have a configuration just click a new and then um, you'll have a, a new one and then you can click scan and once it's scanned you'll see the name of your hub up here and you also notice that the expansion hub is flashing blue so we'll click expansion hub portal and now we're gonna set up our expansion hub so once you click it again we're going to pretty much set up all the devices that we have since we only have two motors connected we're gonna set that up by clicking motors and I have mine connected on 0 and 1 so on 0 I'm going to click go all the way down and this is a Textrix motor so I'll click Textrix motor and we can call 0 left motor since that's our left motor and then one is also a Tetrix motor and so we're going to call that one right motor alright and once we're done with that we're gonna click done then done again and then done again and then we're gonna save and we're gonna name this so then we can just call this one uh, we can just call it anything I'm gonna call mine tutorial and then I'm gonna click OK so now it's saved so now to kind of set this up with a robot we're going to click activate And so when you leave from there, you'll notice that the light now turns green. And so everything is connected. And then what you also see different is that if you take out your robot controller, sorry, if you take out your driver station, you now see this little green tab. And this is the uh, battery percentage on your robot. So this is this battery. So it tells you what the battery is at. So it's saying it's 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 fully charged now because it says 12.13 volts and that's um, its max as well so everything is set up now and the last thing we need to do is just connect our controller to our phone with the second 90 degree micro controller or micro cable and then we're gonna just plug that into the phone 